Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I estimate the cost of repaying a loan with an online calculator? So online calculators can be helpful when trying to make a financial decision because they allow you to quickly compare different loans and savings options. In general, we don't need to convert the interest rate, also called the APR or annual percentage rate, to a decimal with these online calculators because the calculator will do that for you. You can still do all these problems by um, using the simple and compound interest formulas, but the online calculator just makes it a lot more quick so that you can just spend your time comparing your different options instead of calculating. So let's look at this first one. It says go to this website, which I already did over here. That's what I have on the right side of the screen. And let's look at this situation. It says, Josh takes out a loan for $2,500 to buy a new exercise bike with a 3.75% interest rate, which I put in here already. And then as you can see, it has a little percentage, so I didn't convert it to a decimal. I left it as 3.75%. And then it says, use the online calculator to determine the monthly payments, total repayment, and interest paid for the different term lengths of the loan. Which term length should Josh choose for the loan and why? Okay, so the principal is going to be $2,500 and his interest rate is 3.75%, but we are going to test out different term lengths or however long it will take him to pay off. So let's start with one year. So that monthly payment is going to be $213. And the total paid after 12 months will be $2,551. And the total interest he will have paid is $51. Okay, let's change it to two years. In two years, his monthly payments will be a lot less. They'll be $108, but his total paid is going to go up. It would be $2,599. And the total interest he paid would be $99. And then the last one we're going to test out is four years. That monthly payment, oh, maybe it's not calculating it. There it goes. Okay, that monthly payment would be $56. So really low monthly payment, but his total amount is going to go up to $2,696. And the total interest he would pay would be $196. So... The four-year loan looks like it's the cheapest if you just go with the monthly payment. However, you're going to pay the most in the end. So if he's able to, he should go with that one-year loan because he's going to pay the least amount of interest, even though it has a higher monthly payment. In the end, he won't be paying as much. So it says, which term length should Josh choose for the loan and why? We would say one year because it has the lowest interest. So if he's able to afford that higher monthly payment, then that would definitely be the best option because it has the lowest interest or total amount that he would pay in the end. Okay, the second one wants us to go to this credit card payoff calculator, which I have pulled up here. It says, Lucas uses a credit card to pay for a Caribbean vacation. The balance of his credit card is now $3,250, and his card has an APR of 16%. Use the online calculator to determine the monthly payments, total repayment, and interest paid based on the number of months Lucas takes to pay off the card. So his balance after his vacation is $3,250. No, why it's not letting me type. There we go, $3,250. And there's the percentage, so I'm just gonna type 16. I don't have to change it to a decimal. And then payment per month or desired months to pay off we are going to be testing out different desired months to pay off. So let's start with 18 months. If it takes a year and a half to pay it off. So if he takes a year and a half to pay it off, his monthly payment would be $204 a month. And his total repayment 
would be the 3,250 plus the 427, which is 3,677. You have to do the principal plus the interest, and then his interest is $427. Okay, let's change it to 24 months, so if he takes two years to pay it off. Calculate. Okay, this time his monthly payment would be lower. It would only be $159, but his total is going to be $3,250 plus $569, which is $3,819. And then the interest that he paid was $569. Okay, then if he takes 36 months, three years, This time the monthly payment would be even lower at $114. And the total would be the principal $3,250 plus $863, which is $4,113. And the interest would be $863. So it says how many months should Lucas choose to pay off the credit card and why? Definitely the 18 months because he would only pay $427. If he took 36 months or three years, then he would pay $863. So 18 months because it has the lowest amount of interest. Okay, let's look at the last one. It wants us to open a different calculator, the same one that we used the first problem. It says, Jesse is going to take out a personal loan for $15,000 to remodel her kitchen. She plans to pay it back in four years, but is not sure what interest rate she will qualify for. Use the online calculator to calculate the monthly payments, total repayment, and interest paid. So 15,000 and she's going to pay it back in four years. This time we're gonna be changing different interest rates. So the first interest rate that we're gonna look at is 2.5%. Okay, so if she qualifies for 2.5%, then her monthly payment is going to be $329. Her total repayment would be $15,778, and the interest paid would be $778. Now let's see if she qualifies for 3% instead of 2.5. Her monthly payment would go up a little bit to $332. The total repayment would be $15,937. And the interest paid would be $937. Okay, let's see if she qualifies for a, I think it's 4%, oh, 5%. Okay, this time her monthly payment at 5% interest rate would be $345. Her total repayment would be at $16,581. And the total interest would be $1,581. So it says, which interest rate should Jesse try to qualify for and why? Again, if we're looking at the total repayment and the interest paid, the lowest interest rate is going to be what she wants to aim for. That way she only has to pay $778 in interest versus almost twice as much. So the lower interest rate of 2.5%. 
so she pays less in total.